All right, welcome back. This is a review for Fruits Basket 2019, episode uh, 23. Yes, 23. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> um, so this episode is split into two separate parts, um, and it's probably one of the more calming episodes of all of them. At least as of lately, there's not too much drama going on, but for very good reason. <laughs> very good reason. Um... Now, uh, if you've seen the original series, you'll know that the first half of this episode, which is dealing with Toru being sick, was actually an episode that, that was, it was its own episode in the 2001 series. Um, and then the second half of this episode of, uh, was, um, I think the, it was the beginning episode of episode 24 in the original series. So... Um, it, so it doesn't really have as much of the filler stuff that the original series does, in particular, because the second half is pretty much exactly how it was in the manga, as well as even in the original anime, uh, but the first half is where they don't have all as much, all, they don't have all the filler stuff in there. Uh, that it's, it's like, it's just like the manga, but it took out all the filler stuff that the 2001 had. Anyway, so this episode starts off with the first half being about... Uh, Toru, you know, she failed one of her tests, and she gets down and depressed about it. And basically winds up giving herself a stress cold. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Kia winds up coming in, and he, you know, makes her, uh, some porridge. And it, well, it is porridge, because in the original, at least in the original manga, there was a, uh, mistranslation that called it soup. In particular, like, leek soup, but it's actually, it's just porridge. Um... Anyway, but he comes in, cooks her, he gives her, he cooks her some porridge, um, and then he's like, he's like, hey, if you need to talk, if you need to vent your feelings, I'll, I'll gladly listen. Uh, you know, she tells him, you know, she's upset that, you know, she failed the test, so she feels like she's breaking the promise to her mom, and then she just feels bad also because, you know, Yuki tried to help her study, and she still failed, and then... And now she's sick, and so she's she's just upset. And of course, you, Kyo just bluntly says, "Well, you know, you can just take the re-exam, and she should be fine. Just pass that, and don't worry about Yuki. And then don't worry about Yuki, and just get better. It's as simple as that. And it's it's a very sweet moment between them, and it's it's very cute. It's very adorable. Uh, now, again, for the most part, that's and then of course, um, Momiji and. Kisa and Hattori all show up, uh, and Hattori gives her, like, a little shot, and is, like, Momiji and, uh, uh, Sugar over there making, you know, being like, oh, but, you know, better, better make sure it doesn't hurt, because, you know, uh, Shigure says that, you know, it, it hurt him when you, when you gave him a shot, and, uh, Hattori's being like, yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, and then Yuki comes in afterwards and, like, uh, gives her, uh, some notes to study for and whatnot. But it, it's nice to see, to kind of show off that everyone is there to try and support her as much as they can. Um, now, for the most part, from what I remember of the, um, the original series, they, again, for the most part, this episode is exactly, at least this half of the episode, is exactly the same, with the exception of the original series added a lot of filler, so, like, you see Kyo um, looking at cookbooks, trying to figure out what's the best thing to cook, and they make a joke of, oh, it's everything saying leak soup, leak this. And so he winds up accidentally stumbling upon Yuki's garden and taking the leaks out, and then Yuki comes home later and sees that, and he's upset about it. And They, they have a lot of more jokes uh, and little gag things going on throughout the episode. Uh, and it's fine, but th this portion of the episode, or, or this, actually, this episode, is just, it's a, definitely a, like, calm before the storm. Uh, but I also really like how they combined this first half with Tor getting sick with the start of the second half of the episode, where they're all standing out in the rain, and Kiyo's kind of getting sluggish, and Tor freaks out initially, going, oh, hopefully he didn't catch my cold, which is, because, because it, but it, obviously he didn't, but it's a nice little, okay, it connects them really well. Um, after that, um, you know, they're talking, they're just talking, 
they're just, you know, talking and about, you know, he's sluggish, you know, because the rain just makes him feel that way, and Tor's offering to either offer him her, her umbrella or turn him into a cat and carry him, but Keo just is like, no. But they continue on walking, and we get a little surprise of, oh, there's a mysterious person who shows up, and he's watching um, Keo interact. Um, they go home, and then, um, Kagura shows up, and, uh, because Shigure doesn't want any more damage done to his house, he gets, uh, Toru to give Kagura the grocery list, and Kagura and Kia go out grocery shopping. Uh, while they're out grocery shopping, um, you know, Toru, uh, not Toru, uh, Kagura you know, asks Kyo if Toru actually knows you know, she, that, does, she, does she actually know everything? You're going to have to tell her one day, and, and Keo kind of is like, oh, you know, it's none of your business, go away. Um, and then Keo says, you know, like, I don't, I don't understand why, 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 why you're so close with me. Like, it's not normal. It's, the normal thing to do would be to avoid me or to just distance yourself, so I don't understand, um, why you try to always reach out to me. And of course, Kagura doesn't actually, like, um, straight up tell him. She just kind of thinks to herself, but she thinks to herself, well, it's because you offered me your hand first. That's why you reached out to me first. That's why I, I'm so close with you. Well, and, but then we also get some hints that there's some other little things that happen. Like, you see something with a bracelet and Kagura as a little kid, or Kiyo's bracelet. Um, and so you don't know exactly what's going on, but it's, it's clearly it's something there. And then, of course, we get, they get back home, and they run into the mysterious man who uh, Keo calls Shishao, or Shishou, uh, who is, or basically it's his master. Um, and that, and that's basically the episode. It's, again, that's not too much goes on. There's, there's little subtle things here and there, but it's definitely a calm before the storm episode. That is really what this is. Um, but... But it's a great, it's a fun episode. Again, I like how they combined um, these two little chapters. It'll be fun. And then we have next episode, which is going to be interesting to say the least. Uh, we'll get, I'll get into that when I make the next one. Um, anyway, so that's about it. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.